Welcome back friends and Merry Christmas to you. Christmas is hitting my channel. I'm so excited to bring my, I guess, third Christmas video of the season, but really only my second decorating for Christmas 2022. So I'm so excited. Today we're going to be putting up my tree and decorating the tree and my fireplace mantle. I love to take my time when I decorate, so I figured I wouldn't knock out a whole room in one video. I want to just go through all my decor and make my selections on what I want to use this year. And as you could tell by my shirt, I am bringing red into my house for the first time in years. I have been on that neutral Christmas vibe for the last few years and even though it is incredibly beautiful, I love it. I've been craving a pop of color for Christmas, so we are going to do a Hallmark inspired family room. I actually have three trees this year. I have one in my bedroom. If you guys missed that video, I will have it linked down below. I decked out my bedroom for Christmas and I love how it came out. So make sure you guys catch that one. And then I did put a tree in my boys playroom. It's really our loft, the main hangout space upstairs. And that is the tree that we decorate as a family. And this one's more of like my showy, beautiful tree. So that's why you're not seeing my family in here decorating the tree with me. We have a whole other tree that we do that together in like our really family oriented space in the house where the kids can be as messy as they want. We can be loud and just be more fun in that space. So don't worry, I am not decorating the tree today without my family. Around midnight, way up high, there's an angel in the sky. The glitter and the shine. I would love to know down below in the comments, do you guys go out and get a real tree or do you have an artificial one? We, I think the year before last, brought in a real tree and because I like to decorate in November, the tree is pretty crispy by the time Christmas rolls around and so I just went ahead and switched back to an artificial tree. Also, let me know if you guys prefer a flocked tree over just a regular traditional green tree. I'm so curious. I'm also really curious to hear if you guys have decorated for Christmas yet. I've sent my wishes far to get you in everywhere. It is so exciting. I am collaborating with my best, best friend, Hope, and her YouTube channel is At Home With Hope. She is just a decorating genius, and her Christmas decor is just absolutely stunning this year. It's very vintage, old school Charles Dickens. And as you can see by these clips, she just completely nailed it. So make sure you guys go over and check out Hope. She has a channel very similar to mine. She is a large family. She's got four kiddos. She lives over in Utah and we talk almost every single day for about the past two years. So head over to her channel, say hello, let her know you came over for mine and I know you guys will absolutely just adore her. I absolutely love Christmas time. It is my favorite time of year. Not only does it bring in just the warm and cozy feels into the home, but I'm kind of the opposite. I feel like people speed up and get busy during the holidays. 
Me, I tend to slow down and reflect, um, especially when I bust out my Christmas decorations. I love to take my time. So I'm sitting here with my Christmas totes surrounded around me, overflowing with my Christmas decor. I have my tree, I have my fire. I've been listening to Christmas music and making crock pot meals. And it's just a great time of year to kind of reflect and remember just what year that you had my kids are getting so big and just all the memories that we made and it just kind of is a great reminder to slow down so this is your reminder don't you know fall into the fast paced crazy of the season maybe do the opposite and just take a minute to take in all the little joys in life I picked up this beautiful gold metallic ribbon from Michaels. They are having an amazing sale this year. I think all their Christmas stuff is 40% off. So I picked up a couple rolls of this ribbon and I just cut them into shorter strips and then tucked them into the tree so that way it looks like the ribbon was actually woven through the tree. That is a very, very old hack. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before, but I use it every single year on my tree. It saves a lot of ribbon. Um, and a lot of effort and stress when you're trying to decorate your tree. This tote I have here, I'm going through and remembering what ornaments I used last year. I only got, I think, one or two new ornaments um, because honestly, I'm just still really loving what I used last year. So I'm kind of going through and laying out what I want to use and just kind of refreshing my memory. When decorating your tree, I'm sure you already know this, make sure you start off with your lights first, but since my tree is pre-lit, I didn't have to worry about stringing the lights. The next thing you wanna do is do your ribbon, which is what I did here. Or if you don't use ribbon and you wanna use garland, make sure you do that first as well. And then go in with your largest ornaments and try and step back as you're putting them on the tree, as I'm doing here, and just kind of evenly to the eyes, sprinkle them around your tree. Again, starting with your largest ornaments, working down to your smallest. Once all my larger pieces and statement pieces are on the tree, I'm gonna go back in and fill in the areas I feel like that need, you know, maybe there's a big gap or things don't look as even, and I'm gonna go in with my smaller ornaments, and I even got some beautiful dark red berry picks that you're gonna see me fill in those areas with, and it also brings in a pop of color still being super subtle and not being overboard with red, but I definitely wanted to bring in some natural elements of red on my tree. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm also going to add picks to the top of my tree to be super extra and just give it a little bit more pizzazz at the top. And stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland snowball in each hand take me away christmas day there's joy in the air families near we give 
thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss. A green red delight with glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles, my presents stacked in piles. Take me away, Christmas Day. I am just so pleased with how my tree came out this year, but I'm just as excited to decorate my mantle. I feel like the tree and my whole fireplace wall is such a statement in the room. They are the areas that I am most excited to decorate. So I always love to start off with a clean slate. So I'm going to clear off my mantle and wipe everything down, make sure that there's no dust behind and then we are gonna go do the fun part and start with the decorating. There's joy in the air, family sleep. We give thanks for this. This garland is new. I actually had it in my bedroom and decided to swap it out with just a regular green one with pine cones that was lit. And I ended up putting that on my headboard and bringing this downstairs. I actually bought the matching wreath. So I thought that could go on my front door and then it'll kind of bring the element inside as well. So I'm just stringing these twinkle lights because this garland was not pre-lit and I have a ton of these twinkle lights laying around so I thought it was just so easy to add them to the garland and they are on a timer. Take me away Christmas day Take me away I actually totally forgot that I had this runner. I got this two or three years ago. I think I got it from Marshalls and I love it. I think it was $29.99 and I just feel like it's such a traditional piece. It has that beautiful old school Merry Christmas font on it and it just gave me all the Christmas vibes. And this sign here I picked up from Home Goods and it was just $24.99. Now the goal is to replace this chair and get two new chairs to go on either place of this fireplace until I get a new couch and we're gonna reconfigure this whole room. But for now, I'm just gonna throw this really soft throw blanket from Target over it and this adorable threshold pillow also from Target this year. And the gingerbread pillow is from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just bringing in those gingerbread traditional cozy Christmas feels. The goal was to add a red velvet ribbon to these stockings, but I can't find it anywhere. Everywhere I go, it's just sold out. So I had this red silk ribbon on hand. So I'm just gonna use that here on the stockings to bring the pop of red to this area of the mantle. I love how it came out. Please let me know what you guys think. I am just 
embracing all the color this year, which is completely out of my comfort zone. But make sure you guys stick around. I have so much more Christmas stuff coming. We've barely scratched the surface of my home. I'm bringing in all the cozy, cozy Christmas feels this year. And I hope you guys enjoyed what I've done already. Um, we have my shelving in here, my coffee table, my couch, my dining room, my kitchen, so much more really, really fun videos to come. Comment below and let me know if you all enjoyed this Hallmark inspired Christmas video today. I hope you all did. Also, please do not forget to go check out my friend Hope's channel. She'll be over there ready to say hello. And if you guys enjoyed this video, if you could please like and subscribe before you leave, it means the world. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye friends.